the month of Chaitra Masam, that is the spring time, we have Devi Navaratris. That is Navaratris are called Vasanta Navaratris, spring Navaratris. The 10 days we have very special time, the spring time, from the Yugadi day to Sri Rama Navami and the next day Dasami. This time, the 10 days is a very special festival, Vasanta Navaratri. From the Vasanta Navaratri, we have so many festivals comes. And then Guru Purnima comes in the month of July. After the July, what festival? Again, Sravana Masam, Mahalakshmi, Lakshmi Narayana Puja. And then after the Guru Puja, Lakshmi Narayana Puja, Krishna Puja, Krishna Jayanti. And then immediately, we have in the Bhadrapada Masam, in the month of September, first Puja, Ganesha Puja. People celebrated this Ganesha celebrations one day, three days, nine days, ten days, twenty-one days, twenty-seven days, even forty days also. It is up to their interest on Shankar Bhagavan and also Ganesha, Ganesha Puja, Shankar Bhagavan Puja, Divine Mother Puja. All Pujas are happened in Ganesha Navaratri time. After this Saran Navaratris, from the Vasanta Navaratri to Saran, Saran Navaratris, each festival celebrations are given by Vedic holy rushis, devatas. So that's why these celebrations are ancient time onwards celebrations are happened because of the blessing of the devatas and the rushis and divine mother. So that's why these Navaratri celebrations are comes in the month of October, a very special time. This Jyoti Shastra Vidya, a Bhrugu Maharshi, his first name was Bhrugu Maharshi. He did 2000 years, a very great tapas for Shiva Se. Shankar Bhagavan gave darshan to Bhrugu Maharshi and he was asking, what I have to do for you? Then he was asking, Mrata Sanjivani Vidya. Mrata Sanjivani Vidya is the divine mantra. That is, all of you also know that mantra, healing mantra. It's a very powerful mantra. Suppose I cannot speak mantras directly like this in the speeches like that. It is so sacred, healing mantra. All of you know that uh, healing mantra. So this healing mantra, he got directly from Shankar Bhagavan, this Bhrugu Maharshi. And he was, whenever uh, the demons are died in the war, he used this healing mantra, he make them alive. Sometimes negative people are again come back, they gave very, very, very hard time to the mankind. Then Devatas went to Shankar Bhagavan one day, they are praying, Swami, what you did? It is good, you gave this wonderful mantra to uh, Bhrugu Maharshi, but he was giving hard time to all of us. The negative people have no death, they are alive again because of the healing mantra, Mruchinjai mantra. So then Shankar Bhagavan was watching what Bhrugu Maharshi was doing and sometimes he was giving new life to very, very negative people. That time uh, Shankar Bhagavan punished uh, this Bhrugu Maharshi and he made him to sit in his stomach. He was in his stomach and what this Bhrugu Maharshi did, he got eternal body by the blessing of Shiva, he never died. He was in the stomach of Shiva, he did tapas there. So he he comes outside of the Shiva's body. So that's why he called Sukracharya. That is the Sukragraham, Venus. So this is the Bhrugu Maharshi story. That's why Bhrugu Maharshi become the Sukracharya. This Sukracharya brought 440,000 slokas of the Jyoti Shastram. In this Jyoti Shastram, they gave specific times. This is the time you have to do Divine Mother Puja. This is the time you have to do the Seva Puja. This is the time you have to celebrate this festival. So this is Ayurvedam is mixed in these festivals and the holy rivers, healings are in these festivals and it is mainly mind. Mind orientation is very, very uh, involved in these festivals. So they focused more, mostly on the human mind. If the mind is okay, 
then we are okay our mind is not okay then uh, we don't know a car without a proper driving um, so what happened in the main road so similarly a life will become very disturbed without a proper mind so mainly the festivals when we see when we research about all of these festivals uh, it is completely giving control on the mind self control on the mind we need self control on our mind and senses and body and all our ego and everything no otherwise there is no peace at all that is the gist of the festivals in one word so this specifically when we see about this the jyotirvidya it is not speaking about the planets the planets energy suppose when we see, see a person where is his energy his energy is in his brain in her brain their brain power is their energy because of their brain power they did wonders in the world if the brain power is not there then we know uh, life will become so disturbed and sometimes no use for anyone also so that's why they spoke about this jyotirvidya how the nine planets are influence on our human body we show you so many times also about our small uh, cell in our body how the nine planets are influence on our cell how the 27 stars are influenced on our cell we show you so many times how our brain hippocampus influenced by sun we show you that also so nine planets are not just planets they send divine radiance on us the divine radiance is discussed in the jyotish shastram for example they told you have to stand in front of morning gloryful golden light sun time uh, just close your eyes and pray or meditate some couple of minutes when we do that what happened to us surya atma pedopa shantaye surya surya means sun god is going to grant us atma pedopa shanti it means all the time some people are giving a hard time to themselves only they are not happy they never make other people also happy they are giving all the time unhappy to other people when you get the sun radiance to your body early in the morning you will become very courageous a lot of will power and innumerable energies are awakened in your body by standing in front of the morning sunlight and we have very special sun mantras and saura shastram saurashtra one state is also there saura mantras saura saura word comes from saura saura word comes from the saura saura means a sun god when we stand in front of sun god in the morning time uh, we will get completely mentally negativity will com- completely controlled by our cell and we get chitta shanti chitta shanti is means mental peace and mental rest also comes when we uh, walk in the morning sunlight and meditate it is very powerful second one is the chandra manah pidopa shantaye mental unrest mental commotion wavering mind and all of these things will be completely subside when we sit in evening time before uh, the moonlight time when we meditate chandra is giving that divine radiance to us and mind will become quiet calm peaceful serene and so much uh, peace and shanti comes in the life so that's why mana uh, pedopa shantaye mana pedopa shantaye mano vaikalyam so much disturbance sometimes crying and unrest and all these things are um, then you will become fearless you will get lot of courage all these things by sitting in the moonlight and meditate these energies comes to human beings and third one is the kuja graham that is the mars mars is um, roga pedopa shanti lot of diseases in the body because of this mars planet only and surgeries and untimed deaths and accidents never happened when we have the mars energy a positive energy in our body 
and then third is the Buddha Graham Mercury. This is the green planet, very powerful one. Buddha Graham Buddhi Pedopa Shante. Buddha is the Mercury planet. This planet is a positive rays on us. Then we have very positive thinking, peaceful mind, pure mind, always positive thoughts only. We have no negativity, we have no anger, no unrest, all of these things. So that's why this is the power of the Mercury planet. A Mercury color is the green color. So we have to sit under the green trees and or we have to worship the green jade murtis and green jade malas we have to wear. That kind of things are given by the Rushis ancient time itself. And Jupiter is the Guru. Putra Pido Pashante, sometimes children are giving very hard time to parents. So very hard time, they never tune with parents. And also disciples also sometimes giving very hard time. So all of these problems will be completely subside by the Guru power and also people uh, get meditation path and spiritual path by the grace of the Guru, that is the Jupiter. If people have Jupiter power, they are doing wonders in the life, they never see back at all, they can climb higher levels in their spiritual path and also in the external life. And next one is the Venus, uh, it gives a lot of peace in the family, a wife and husband are tuned together, uh, no commotion in the home, children are also tuned with the parents and lot of gloryful life, peaceful life. What is mainly peace in the home now? To all your family members together, tuning together, love each other, not frictions, that is the most highest thing in the life. Now, that kind of uh, great boons comes from Venus only, that is Sukracharya. Uh, so that's why he gave this Jyotir Vidya, Jyotishka Vidya to the mankind, comes from Kailas, 440,000 of the beautiful slokas in this Jyotish Shastram. People need how much sadhana to understand Jyotish Shastram. Very wonderful, no? Then Sukracharya, Saturn, next one. Saturn, Aishwarya Karakam. Aishwarya means the wealth, all kinds of the wealth, good health. He never allow untimed death and he allows us wealthiest people in all kinds of the wealth spiritual wealth and good health wealth and mental peace and spirituality everything comes because if Saturn positive energy is working on human life in the same Saturn working in a negative way problems comes in the life and then Rahu and Ketu the two nodes Rahu it influences on the mankind because of the eyes problems eye related problems blindness and night blindness and so many problems comes, eye surgeries, all of those eye related problems comes. When this Rahu is good in life, it gives us external good vision and also inner good vision, inner vision, inner vision. Because of Rahu only, inner vision comes. So beautiful. Next one is the Ketu. Ketu is the Moksha Karaka. When Ketu Graham is properly positive in human life, in according to their birth chat, and they are very spiritual people, very spiritual people, they never speak lies, they are very pious and noble, uh, very good in life. Jnana Pidopa Shantaye. Uh, so, this ignorance will be completely deleted from their life, and they are completely gloriously uh, blossoming with the knowledge in their life. So that's why uh, this Ketu is Moksha Karaka. He is the Jnana Pidopa Shantaye. Suppose we sometimes people don't know what is good and what is not good. This Ketu Graham, this light from the Ketu, the nodes, last node, this planet, if it is working positively in human life, it makes understand people what is good and what is not good. Otherwise, people are going towards negative things. They think it is completely good. What they are doing is good, they think. But the Ketu is good in the life. It never allows you to go into the negative ways and negative thinking. It always gives you the path of very good knowledge and a wonderful way of thinking and moksha also in this lifetime. So, Amma's sweet children, beloved children, 
so we are discussing nine planets these nine planets positive energy how to capture what time to capture this is the time navaratri time navaratri time is the best time nine planets divine mother wonderful nine nights from the padyami hasta nakshatra yukta padyami kalsa sthapana people did until to uh, mahadnavami last day is the mahadashami so these 10 days how these are related to our inner chakras how they are influence on our mind and intellect so we are going to discuss all those points also i love you so much uh, from the bottom of my heart so festival means don't think it is something uh, people are oh, they have no work otherwise they are all the time doing this festival that fe- it is not that don't think like that so much science behind that human life is mainly working with mind and intelligence these two must be go in a proper way not in a negative way so this is the way how the rishis are guiding the mankind how to get the god's grace almighty grace in life to worship god in certain times only specifically in certain times only so that's why navaratri festivals are incredible time ancient time they told kings they have to give up all the works just sit leisurely pray god so kings have so many works no each moment is very powerful in his life he cannot sit idly and do pujas in his life he have to do so much work but navaratri time the rishi told you have to give up all your kingdom works keep one side do 10 days navaratri vratam for divine mother for shakti ah uh, she is a very powerful shakti all dasa maha vidyas are divine mother kamalatmika vidya bhuneshwari vidya thara vidya all of these vidyas are divine mother nobody is never able to control divine mother except shiva so that divine mother comes down to your level to bless you especially on navaratri time so that's why take the advantage of this great time do divine mother puja pray divine mother come to the manidvipa mahasamsthanam take divine mother blessing this is the greatest lalitambika shakti petam in the world so very traditionally divine mother pujas are going here and very powerful sri chakram there so all the mahavidyas atma vidya brahma vidya brahma vidya de devata lalitambika devi lalita parameshwari sakunkuma vilepana amalika chumbika sthurikam samanda hasite kshanam sasara chapa pasankusam asesha janamohinim arunamalya bhushambharam japa kusma basuram japa vidhau smaret ambikam you have to know the japa vidhi how to do the japam and meditate divine mother you will attain ambika lalita ambika within yourself so this is the you got in the prayer sloka itself how to attain divine mother also amma's beloved children love you once again from the bottom of my heart so definitely welcome all of you for this navaratri festivals come and join with us we have very special time peninsula is a great siddha bhumi some places siddha bhumi it's a very powerful siddha bhumi one day meditation is countless merits comes in our account of spirituality so i welcome all my children meditate divine mother attain divine mother grace in this lifetime i love you so much once again amma once again special motherly love and blessings for all of you for on this auspicious uh, navaratri time in advance love you so much om shanti 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 hai